Here at the Sports Medicine and Performance Center at the University of Kansas Health System, the official health care provider of the Chiefs will also care for you at five convenient locations. Get in, get treated, and get back in the game. And your substitute champion plaque is awarded to St. James Thunder. Coach, another week, another victory. This one's a big one, obviously, against Miege. Um, just kind of overall thoughts on the performance and, uh, you know, this uh, victory that your team pulled out here. Uh, it was a dominating performance. Offense and defense uh, uh, made some special. Ty Claiborne is a special football player. He's a leader uh, of our team, especially our offense. Uh, and it showed that tonight. Um, we tried to take away Neeson. He's another great receiver. But Ty is the guy who makes the whole team run. I'm so proud of him. I'm happy for him. He had a game like this. Um, you know, we, we know this. We see it all the time. Um, so uh, I'm proud of those guys. Just dominating. You know, Aiden Gentile on the other side of the ball, another leader. Yeah. And so many guys played so well tonight. Being a good team, uh, a, a, a great program, um, but we showed uh, what St. James football is all about again tonight. For sure, your offense was clicking from the start. You know, short, quick passes. Then you you find uh, Ty deep there to start the second quarter. That's really when you guys kind of opened up the playbook a little bit. Um, so, how would you say about how Jackson was running the offense, how your O line was blocking, and just how everything came together? Yeah, I mean, offensive line game great a lot of time, right? I mean, Chave uh, spread the field for us. Also, Jackson House can make plays. Right? Right? Yep. He just makes plays that but we see it in practice every single day. We see him uh, break tackles. We throw, throw the deep ball. We throw, you know, 100 deep balls every single practice. You know, and it, it slants and hits you. So he's throwing the ball a lot. We expect that from him. So to us now, it's this guy. That's what he does. Um, yeah. And, and that's how special uh, this group of uh, is. And you know, Wade Spencer again on the other side of the ball. Our defense, yeah. another amazing game. Um, just a beast over there. And, and you know, it's hard to contain that kid. Yeah, definitely all three levels of the defense, you know, made an impact tonight. Um, just how important were those turnovers, and, and was that just kind of the story of the postseason for your defense and just getting those huge turnovers yeah, for you? Yeah, because, you know, we, we knocked the ball, we hit a big hit, we had a couple of big hits, and, you know, making plays all over the field. So, you know, we're out hitting people, and uh, it's, it's fun to say that. You know, we, when we're punishing teams and they don't want they don't want to get hit anymore by the end of the fourth quarter, and it shows up in the school board and we're making plays and causing those turnovers. So, uh, just super proud of the way these guys practice when they hit themselves off the field. Uh, it's a really fun group to be around, and uh, just proud of each other. Yeah, it's hard not to think of the big picture here. Um, obviously, you know, this round last year, you guys knocked off Miege, you know, snapped their six 
six uh, six eight championship winning streak. I mean, I know it's talked about a lot, and it might be repetitive for a lot of you guys. But how important is tonight for St. James football? Did you make that? Uh, you know, people we start on four, and people run us <laughs> off again. Right? Uh, we knew what we had. Uh, we know what kind of program we run. Um, you know, we do it the right way. Uh, we got some really good, smart kids that show up to practice and ready to work every single day. Um, but again, we're trying to put St. James football on the map. We're trying to put St. James on the map. Even more. People talk about us. We got to talk about Jesus. And that's the things we're evangelizing. We're doing what we're supposed to be doing uh, for the Lord. So, you know, it's, 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 it's a big night. You got one more chance to coach these guys, this team, um, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, of course, in the state championship game in Topeka. Uh, what do you guys have to do to make sure you check all the right boxes to get ready for that one? Uh, stay healthy. Right? You know, just have a good week of practice. Um, stay focused. Um, you know, I, I don't know who we're playing quite yet, but uh, and over Central. And over Central is a good team. Lots of women run. Uh, you know, and, and they got some skilled guys out there. They hit. Uh, that's gonna be a fun game. Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, looking forward to going to Topeka and hanging out with these guys. Really, we talked yeah. about it. We'll just fight for more time together. And these guys uh, fought, you know, tooth and nail, and gave everything they had for the brother next to them. Uh, and we keep talking about it all the time. Uh, the games you play in November, the ones you may remember forever. So we're going to try to keep it rolling. Live reaction from Coach on learning that they're playing Andover Central in the state championship yeah. game. Right, <laughs> Thanks for your time here. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, Coach. Now this is always the hard part. Uh, what do you have to say about uh, your team and, and how they played, and just just kind of the end of the road here? Yeah, I mean, proud of their effort. That's what I told them there at the end. Um, you know, to endure the things that we endured through this year and, and, and to end it. It was obviously disappointing, you know, we're a game short of where we wanted to be. Uh, but pr proud of the fight these guys had. Um, you know, we we knew tonight that we had to be almost perfect, that we couldn't turn the ball over, and we did twice, and they got 14 points, and that's the difference in the game. So, um, you know, just proud of the fight. These guys didn't quit, you know, and that's been their MO all year long. You know, they've, they've answered every call, and they did that again tonight. Yeah, and, and what did St. James do tonight to, to make it difficult on you guys? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think from an offensive standpoint, they were able to get the ball to number three. Um, you know, number six had been their guy, and Claiborne was their guy last year, and, um, you know, had a good night tonight. Um, and then defensively, you know, we felt like we moved the ball to the ball. I was even saying at halftime, you know, you guys, it's not like you weren't moving the ball. I think you guys had more more time of possession in that first half. You guys were uh, moving the sticks. You couldn't, you just couldn't finish there, you know, late in, dri late in drives and uh, near the red zone. Uh, was that just kind of the your your uh, your cross here was that you just couldn't finish late? Yeah, I mean, you know, that, this is really the first game we've done that. Uh, you know, we've been able to finish. We haven't turned the ball over in the red zone like that. Um, you know, that's what's difficult because we felt really good about our game plan. Our kids executed our, our game plan to perfection early. Um, we wanted to grind the ball with uh, Jalen Birch. You know, he's a special player, so uh, he showed that tonight. Uh, you know, getting proud of our guys, obviously disappointed, you know, our game short, but proud of their effort. Yeah, and Jalen, of course, was was himself again tonight. Uh, just kind of describe what a season he put together and, and how good he was and shifty, especially there um, early in the third. You know, when when uh, you guys scored there and, and uh, tried to make it interesting late. Yeah, that first drive in the third quarter, we put it on his back. Um, you know, he we told him that at halftime, we got to be able to run the ball, come out and establish it. And we were able to do that. And, um, that's what he's done all year for us. Uh, he, he's a special kid, you know, not only on the football field, but he's a tremendous kid in our halls. And, um, you know, he's going he's gonna to be tough to replace next year. What do you have to say about these seniors as they go out? Yeah, love them. Uh, this is a great group of guys. Uh, our captains, Jake Welsh, Colin Keeney, Jackson Hosher, Jalen Burks, those four guys led us. Um, and this group was special because we had some kids come out. Christian Bowen Webb was one that came out this year. Uh, Charles Callahan was another one. Ty, congrats! <laughs> hey, Ty, congrats on the victory tonight. Uh, what it take to to come out here and, and win another sub-state title? I think we were really just confident in ourselves. You know, we respect you guys a lot. We had a great week of practice, great week of preparation. We trusted our coaches, trusted each other, and we knew man for man that you know we had them and that we could really won because we just played off the board. I mean, career career night for you. I mean, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's Ty. He's cool. 
What do you have to say about um, you know you and Jackson's connection and, and uh, what was working for you guys? I mean, it really just started all the way back in December. We started throwing. We started you know, getting that connection going. And I mean, really the coaching staff really just helped us with that. They called the right plays. We trusted them this whole season. And they just did a great job of you know, helping us and helping us do what we need to do. Obviously, you and John, you know, have made a quite the dynamic duo. And obviously, you got some, got some other threats around the offense. Um, you know, John had John had really uh, attracted some eyeballs late in this year and in, in the playoffs. And and then, you know, I guess it's now it's your turn. You know, how do how do you kind of feed off each other? I mean, you know, we're we're, we're really close together. We're you know, we feed off each other's energy. Offense, this guy right here. Freaking Clay <laughs> But you know, I mean, I, I you know, he wants me to succeed. I want him to succeed. You know, we're, we're brothers and we want the best for each other. I think that's what's so special about us. Yeah, as a senior, obviously, uh, you know, you got a chance to win a state title last year. Uh, what's it like to, you know, at least get back there and give yourself another shot to make it back to back? I mean, it feels great. You know, this is an opportunity. I mean, I, I've waited for this for a whole year, you know, having my state championship in my years of year. Yeah, I'm proud of all these seniors, and you know, we just gotta go have a great good practice and do our thing. Yeah, and what do you guys gotta do to make it happen? Play St. James football. There you go. Then, you know, all, all the God, you know, respect him. Talk about St. James, talk about Jesus. Thanks for your time.